Today you're going to learn how to do this stylish fluffy dog pet trim at home on this Bichon Poodle mix named Sparky. This is a trim that I apply to many dogs that I groom daily, but it works best on a fluffy dog. But in order to achieve this trim on your pet at home, there are a few pet grooming industry secrets that you must know so your dog can look like he just stepped out of a professional pet grooming salon. So let's get started. Before we ever trim any dog, guys, the first thing we do is thoroughly brush out our fluffy dog with a slicker brush. I am using the Activet Matte Zapper Brush on Sparky here today, and I will link all the products that I'm using and referring to today, guys, in the description below, so you can pick them up for yourself. The reason we are thoroughly brushing out our fluffy dog here today before we bathe, dry, or trim our dog is because we are actually going to remove any dead hair out of the coat that will be caused mats and will also not allow us to properly scissor this coat like I'm going to show you in the upcoming steps. So after we have thoroughly brushed out Sparky, we're ready for the tub. Good time to smash that subscribe button. Now we're going to wash Sparky's face. It's very important that we get this face clean. You can see yeah, it's a lot of buildup at his eyes. Oftentimes dogs get a lot of buildup right here inside their mouth. We need to get this really, really clean. I'm going to use some Tropiclean facial scrub. I will link a video below. This is very safe around the eyes and it's also very effective for cleaning your dog's face. That's why we use it. And as you can see, we are cleaning this dog's face. It's very important that we do that. If you're using safe products, guys, it's okay as long as you're using safe products on your pets. This is a pet safe product. It's made for pets, dogs, and cats. Trap a Clean Spa Facial. And it is also linked in the description if you need to pick some up on Amazon. After bathing, guys, it's very important that you thoroughly rinse your dog. Now it's time to trim the nails. I'm gonna trim the nails on Sparky and we're gonna get ready for the drying process. Continue to brush and dry your dog until he is completely fluffy and dry. Sparky is all ready for his head trim. I can get a comb through every inch of his hair. Very important, even the beard. If you can't, your trim is not going to look good. It's not gonna be professional. Sparky's already had his full body trim, which was a number five blade. We chose to use number five because mom wants to put clothes on him for the holidays and in the winter time. So you would have to keep the body and the legs a little bit shorter, at least the body, so it doesn't mat because you're gonna put clothes on your dog or sweaters or whatever. We've cleaned out the pads of feet, we've clipped nails, we cleaned ears, we plucked ears. He's had his sanitary trim, which is everything under here. That's all clean and beautiful. We're ready to get started on his beautiful head trim. I'm just going to use my 5-in-1 form on clipper. This is a Kenchi Flash. I'm going to set it to a 9. And I'm just going to clean out these corners right here. You can see that as the hair grows, it, it stains. So it's just going to make this look a little cleaner for Sparky. That's all we're taking. See, guys? Just a little, just whoop, right there in that corner. And a little right there in that corner. The rest of this head we're going to hand scissor. I'm only going to be using two shears today on Sparky. I'm going to use my six and a half inch Kenchi five star curved shear and I'm going to use my Kenchi Love 17 tooth chunker blender. First thing I'm going to do is comb his brow forward and just from the corner of the eye to the corner of the eye I'm going to come nicely across to set the length of that brow. From corner of eye to corner of eye, you might need to comb this out one more time and give it another go. Okay, now I'm gonna take that Kenchi Love and I'm just gonna tidy up right in there where I clipped out that hair. Just to blend, blend it away a little bit. Make it, make it blend a lot better, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be using these chunkers a lot for this head trim. I'm going to fluff all the hair from ear to the top of the head and I'm going to come around and just dome this in. So anything that is obstructing that dome shape, I'm going to scissor off. This is our beautiful boy. Don't, he's probably going to fall asleep. 
probably gonna fall asleep. Don't be surprised if he falls asleep, guys. We're just setting the length. I'm gonna tidy all this up with my blender. What I took off with my five was from be right below the base of his skull, all the way around his jaw, took all this off with a five, kind of leaving a circle for his head. That's, that's what I did, you can see. All this came off with a five, leaving a nice circular head. Comb all this down in the back. I'm gonna take my Kenchi Love and I'm just going to, in a scissor action, I'm not thinning, I'm scissoring. And I'm just going to take, blend that in to the back of the head and come up forward towards our dome that we're creating. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Just scissoring off with these chunker shears. I'm scissoring with my chunker shears to create this dome shape like this, back and forth. Good job, buddy. It's so simple. And these shears take a lot of, they're pretty aggressive. They take a lot. Comb up, comb your cheeks out like this. And we're gonna continue to make this round head. Just, you're creating the shape with your scissoring skills, okay? So simple and it's so much fun. So you can kind of see how we're creating this beautiful round face, right? Now we're just gonna gently pull this ear back. Don't pull it up, because you're gonna change the set of the of his face here. We're gonna comb everything out, and from the nose to here, we're just making a U shape. We're hardly taking anything off in places, and more hair we're taking off in other places. And you're just using your blending shears to scissor your dog. And it makes such a beautiful finish. So now we just kind of, you know, created that beautiful cheek. We're gonna do the same thing over here. You can see it's a little messy and untidy. Always combing everything up, pulling all the hair out that you're gonna need to scissor. So you see how we're just making the shape ourselves? It also just tidies everything up. You just move the hair, the ear out of the way, move it around a little bit and so you can really see what you're doing. It's so much fun to scissor dogs, especially with these chunkers, it's amazing. And now I'm gonna take my comb and I'm gonna comb up all this hair on his muzzle so I can create a little donut. I'm using my chunkers. I want the donut to be no wider than the corner of his eye, so that's right here. So I'm gonna make a little line there so I know. And one right here. So that's my guide. And now I'm just gonna continue to create a circle with my chunker shears. They are a 17 tooth Kenchi blending shear. So they're very aggressive. Home everything forward. I gently take my straight shear. I just tidy up right over his little nose. I'm gonna tilt his little head up a little and continue to create a circular shape from the hair that's under his chin. Pull this little lip back and I'm gonna straighten that hair out and I'm just gonna clean that up in there so that when he pants, you don't see a bunch of long hairs sticking out. Same thing over here. 
and I can see that this is a little heavy in there, so I'm just gonna tone it down with my blender. Good little guy. Bottom of the ears, comb everything down, have him looking straight. I want my shears to be straight. I'm just going to tidy up. Notice I did not pick the ear up. Come across here so you can see that they're even. And Sparky is amazing to work with. <laughs> Be very careful. I have his mouth pinched shut. Be very careful around his mouth and so he doesn't lick his tongue out a little bit there and something bad could happen. Oh, you don't have to stare at me. I know you're being a good boy. There we go. Boom everything up over his ears and again set this shape. If we need to, let's take another look at it. Now let's take a look at him. channel hit that subscribe button and ring the bell because together we are going to increase the bond you share with your pet and add even more value to their lives <laughs>